I honestly did absolutely no prep for this video. I wanted to see the shirt, go through my material, my scraps from my other clothing, and just be inspired and create what comes to mind. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to recreate a shirt that Alexander Wang made. This is the shirt, and this is Gabrielle Union. She wore it on America's Got Talent. I have materials and I have a sewing machine. Alexander Wang is literally one of my favorite designers. I think his stuff is just so cool. And something about this, even though it's his, it just feels homemade to me. You know what I mean? Love Alexander Wang, but his things can be a little like pricey. So this, hopefully you guys feel inspired to like create your own dupes because it's totally possible and then it's actually kind of fun because I feel like I'm going to put my own style on it. So I'm just going to get into the video because now I need to like tell you what I'm talking about. So. Okay, so this is what I'm starting with. I have one black t-shirt and one blue t-shirt that I got from Michaels and one black and one blue bandana. Now I'm going to go through some of the scraps that I have from clothing that I upcycle. We want to get the bucket. You guys, I did clean the bucket and it was like by color, organized, rainbow, you know, so great. And then when I put things away, I get lazy, so I just threw stuff in and now it's not going to look as pretty, but I'll show you. <laughs> this is all my scraps of fabric. So what I'm doing now is getting things out of the way because I know this is stuff obviously I just threw in here on top. Oh my god, what is even is this stuff? Yeah, but see, here was the rainbow thing we had going on. But you know my rainbow consists of like black, blue, red. This, all this, I'm just, oh my god, there's more. Ooh, guys, this is exciting. Oh, there's a lot of this. We have white bandana. Oh, wow, look, we have, do we have a white bandana? Look at what's here. Oh, I thought it was attached. Okay, honestly, this is really cool. This was the original sweatshirt that fabric came from. I look, our shirt has that same shape. Look, maybe I think we gotta do something with that. But this is not big enough to be a shirt. So what is it gonna be, like halfway? Imagine like that was going through the middle. You know what I almost feel? I almost feel like it needs to be attached by safety pins right here. It's like coming along, I'm like folding it and trying to pretend. Um, I wanted to film something I forgot to say. I'm actually making two shirts. I'm making one that's like exactly like the one he made. And then I'm making one that fits someone who doesn't want to show their arms in a tank top. I like this idea because the whole safety pin top, this part of it, looked very in depth and looked like something that would have taken a lot of time and a lot of safety pins that I don't have. So I love that I avoided that situation. Okay, so we're gonna put this around the neck. So hers is really cool and let me show you. So I've done something like that before. I've done this where I just like sewed the piece of fabric around the neck. I've also made this one, but here's the thing. I don't think I wanna do the, the point because it's too much with the other point on the bottom of the shirt. How did he do that? <laughs> Wang, will you tell me your ways? How did he make that choker? Unbelievable, it's amazing, it's amazing. So I made this neck part okay guys if my plan works I'm gonna sew that to like this edge so it's gonna be just like standing up straight around the neck which kind of looks like what that's doing no the last part we need to figure out then is the sleeves I think the raw edge may be the way to go I feel like the raw edge would just give it some simplicity and there's so much going on that that can be appreciated. But it's not like what he did and isn't that the point of this? I should really call this like Alexander Wang inspired recreations because at this point it's not the same shirt. Oh, we have fishnet. Fishnet would look, look cool somewhere, would it not? So maybe we'll put this in the back. Oh, I found the other side to this so I totally could do something like this on my shirt. Yay. I have to pee. Can we take a brief intermission? This is it for the black shirt. Let me own. So that's the inspo. 
I mean, you've seen it. I've shown you a hundred times. And now I'm going to design the second shirt. So let's take this off to start. And now I'm thinking about what I'm going to do with the bottom of this one. I was thinking the bandana. Oh, oh. It doesn't look like it's like wide enough. I have a neon orange bandana, but that's just like way more than I'm trying to do right now. I don't like, like, I mean, it's so Syracuse. I'm wondering if I should just cut like, I don't know. I started by laying out the shirt in the shape of the point that I wanted and then laying out the white eyelets to go down the middle. So, so far I have this. I know I want to do something else with it. I'm going to flip the sleeves. That's always a great detail and I love to show the inside. Okay, so I know that for sure, depending on what happens with the other shirt, I may do the same thing with the black bandana around the choker or I'm going to do something else, but I definitely am going to put black bandana around there. I need something to give it life. You know what I'm actually thinking? That we could put some denim on here. Like, I don't want that color denim. I think I want light denim, but this is not... I mean... It's kind of cute. It definitely matches. That color bleach. I mean, it has this on it. So what would I actually do with this, you know? Okay, but I guess we'll leave it right here because maybe something. This denim... Does this excite me? Hmm. Okay, let's see what else we have. That's just the more of the same. That's camo, that's small. We do have fishnet, hmm, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We have more fishnet. And I think I like the black better than the denim. Ooh, so what, ooh, oh. I know what's happening. I'm gonna sew this on top. I mean, I think this does look a little weird because what's happened is I'm going to crop it. And then, so this is just going to be the front part. I kind of like this idea. And I think that it's good considering our inspo. Oh, where'd we go? Has like so many of those that I'm not doing. So adding something like that would just be good for the vibes. Don't we? Don't you? Don't you see the resemblance? I just wanted to like say hi before we get into it. The first thing I do is crop the black shirt in half. Then I attach the black fabric with safety pins so that it wouldn't move when I attach the white bandana to the top shirt. So next I started attaching the bandana using safety pins that I bought on Amazon. What if I put it up here? At this point my plan changed because the top needed something fun too. Then I cut straight down the middle of the shirt so that I could attach the metal fabric there. Then I line everything up on the sewing machine to make sure I'm not sewing the back of the shirt and then just sew the metal fabric on. Now I sew the black fabric on for real. Now I cut the sleeves off the shirt, and I'm sorry I literally covered the camera, but you have to kind of cut in towards the neck a little bit, otherwise the tank top will be too boxy. And then I use what I cut off to make the other side exactly the same. Okay, here is what the shirt looks like so far. Back, it like stops. Day two over here. And I'm actually glad I took a little break because it helped me realize I'm just gonna turn these into chokers. I'm not gonna sew them onto the shirt because I actually really like the uneven neckline and I want to highlight it, so I'm not gonna cover it, you know? Okay, let's get into the video. It's gonna look something like that. 
so I have these parts of this anyway they're like this detail so what I'm thinking about doing is sewing that part on the trim just to give it some detail I start making the chokers by cutting the fabric in half and then I cut the metal hooks because I'm going to use those to actually close the choker I sewed one hook on each side of the choker So the choker came out way too big, but it actually worked, like my method of closing it. So I definitely feel like this choker fits better. Let's compare to our goal. Um, <laughs> well, when you say it like that, uh, I think it should be like half the size, no? I could probably just fold this. Talk about function. Old fashioned. Okay, talk about goals. Call me. You want a choker? To start making the back of the shirt, I cut the fishnet fabric into the shape of the piece that I wanted to go on the back. Then I folded the piece of fabric a little smaller than I wanted and cut the shirt so that way there was a piece of fabric overlay between the fishnet and shirt. So I, when I sew it, it would attach to something, you know? After I'm done sewing, I just cut off any extra fishnet fabric. Now I'm sewing the piece from the sleeve on the shoulder of the tank top. Then I made a hole in the shoulder where I decided I was going to put some chain through. I got this chain from Michaels and I just put the clasp on myself. I am obsessed. Okay, so before I move forward with the next product, with the next shirt, I just wanted to take a moment and reflect on Sky. Um, see, so that's our inspo, and that's what we have. It's, I mean, you can definitely tell they're like related. To start the second shirt, I cut off the bottom to use as a choker, and it also allows me to make a better point. Then I cut straight through the middle of the front of the shirt, but please be careful you don't cut the back of the shirt as well, because we don't want that. Then I cut up the sides of the shirt as high as I plan on cropping it. And then I actually do crop the back of the shirt. At this point, I was wondering if it was really worth it to use all this material on one shirt. So naturally I decided to move forward and work on the fishnet and I cut it into the pieces that I needed to sew on the front of the shirt and I just went ahead and worked on that. To make the perfect point I cut from corner to corner. Then I sew down the last side of fishnet. Then I'm just going to repeat the same thing on the other side of the shirt. It was at this point I was wondering how to attach it down the middle and I used a safety pin to hold it and I realized I liked how it looked so then I just proceeded to put safety pins further down the shirt. Then I sewed the flipped edge over to give the sleeve some detail. Last but not least, I had to make matching masks to go with the outfit, so I just cut some of the bandana into a 9x6 rectangle. Then I cut some upcycled denim to use as the other side of the mask.
Well, I finished making, obviously. Well, okay, first, here's up. Here's up. Oh my god, I wish I could speak. Okay, here's what's going on. Well, I'm at Liv's studio, as you can see behind me, her glam wall. We're going to, well, she's going to try on the final finished Alexander Wang inspired recreation. So, yeah, this is just me telling you what I'm about to show you. As I, they came out so good. I'm obsessed. I... I feel like you saw. I, I didn't have hope in the blue shirt. I thought it was going downhill. I got weird vibes and it pulled through. I always pull through. I don't know why I doubt myself, especially when it comes to like design. I get, but that's why this was so much fun. This was such a fun little game to like have no idea what I was doing, go into it and then make something so dope. I'm literally so inspired. I'm like making a whole collection based off of this. It's so good. You guys, are you ready? I don't think you're ready. They're not ready. Oh my God. One last time, here's the original Alexander Wang shirt. This shirt. Can we talk about it? Can we talk about this? Yeah. It gets better. Yeah, yeah it's come to the front. It's so um, lightweight too, which I love. You love? Love it. You guys, I think this shirt came out better than I even expected because the chain on the shoulder really just makes it and I had no idea I was going to do that. The photos came out so cool. If you want to see them, check them out on my Instagram. This is Nikki Barry. Yeah, this was unreal. This shirt came out so good too. I might even like it better than the other one. I was worried it was going to come out weird and it was literally amazing. It also looks so good tied. I mean, it's just amazing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe and check out my clothing line connection to shop styles like this.